We're creating micro tears in the muscle fibers. And through the quality of sleep, water, and food, the muscles actually begin to repair themselves bigger and stronger than they were before. The gains are insane. Fitness is a lifestyle for some of us. However, staying in shape doesn't mean you have to stay broke. By clicking on this video, I'm going to assume your goal is not to become the next Mr. Olympia. However, you do want to put on some serious quality muscle mass as well as look good in the process. And when I say quality muscle, I'm referring to functional muscle. So come on, let's have a little chat. Now before we discuss the cheapest but most effective way to get to the gains, I must first quickly go over, in layman's terms of course, what muscle building even is for the beginners out there that haven't the slightest clue. When we work out, we're creating micro tears in the muscle fibers. And through the quality of sleep, water, and food, the muscles actually begin to repair themselves bigger and stronger than they were before. It's actually a vicious cycle. Now, when we're using a body weight exercise like push-ups to work our chest, what we're doing is using a portion of our body weight to push against gravity, which is the resistance, right? Gravity wants you to come down, and we're telling our body, no, we gotta go up. Now, when we're doing an exercise like bench press, which also happens to work our chest, we're using the weight of the barbell as well as these two 45 pound weight plates on each side to push against gravity again, which is the resistance to build the muscle. We're still working the chest, baby, still working it. Now, what do you think is gonna happen when you use a resistance band in conjunction with this 135 pounds on this barbell to continue doing the same thing we were just doing, which is the bench press. What happens? It's a tad bit more resistance, correct? The entire time, the tension on this band is pulling down more than the weight. So when I'm at the top, that band is still pressing and it's actually harder at the top than it is at the bottom. Now back to the first exercise we was doing, which was a body weight exercise, push-ups. Working our chest once again. I'm gonna use this resistance band this time instead. Get into position, put the band around your back. Now we've loaded that chest muscle. Instead of using our body weight and gravity, now we're in conjunction using our body weight, gravity, plus some band tension, which is the other form of resistance we wanted to talk about. Bands. And when I say bands, I'm not talking about bands that'll make a dance. I'm talking about resistance bands. Now, if you use this same resistance band with the bench press, which was 135 pounds, you probably need a thicker band. This isn't gonna do. How about a thicker resistance band? Same thing, tension plus gravity, which is the body weight exercise we're doing, right? Whew, I'm already feeling this one. Same thing, we're gonna get down and we load it up the chest muscle. This particular band is actually much stronger than the one we was just using, probably by a couple of pounds. At the top, it really is pulling you down. Fitness is a lifestyle for some of us. However, staying in shape doesn't mean you have to stay broke. There is an in-between, so let's talk about. <laughs> now, Earlier you heard me mention that through working out, you create micro tears. By the quality of food, water, and sleep that you're getting, your muscles begin to repair itself bigger and stronger. Over time, the stronger your muscles get, the more resistance is required to tear them down. I'm telling you guys, it's a vicious cycle. I can't just keep using the same resistance band or the same body weight. I gotta do more reps, increase the resistance, progressive overload. And there's many different ways to do that, and we'll discuss that as well. However, right now we're going to discuss going up in bands. So now I'm going to get a thicker band and do some body weight exercise. So let's go over a few. Let's do some front squats, military presses. I don't want to get on the ground and do push-ups. I'm going to just stand here and do some resistance flies. See how that works? Perfect. Biceps, triceps. How about some rows for the back? Or maybe some forearms. Can't forget the hammies and the glutes. Literally everything. You can work your entire body with these things. You're using body weight and resistance bands. Now this is one piece of equipment that I was discussing. You can buy many different sizes and strengths to do resistance bands. Now to go ahead and give you a better reference, this smaller band is about 10 pounds overall. This band up is about 20 and so on. This is about 50, 70, and this is between 60 all the way up to 150 pounds at the 
top. Now they make bands even stronger than that. In addition to resistance bands, I would also recommend you the next most inexpensive, however, very effective workout equipment you need for your home in order to get to the gangs dumbbells. Pretty sure most of y'all know how to use dumbbells, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple exercises anyway. For example, we can work our legs, shoulders, triceps. Maybe you want to get some uh, bigger biceps. Don't forget your calves. Calves, guys. Is it back day? Well, we can do some rows. The list goes on. Dumbbells are usually not super expensive, depending on the brand. You can find some pretty cheap ones at Walmart, Target, Dick's, or Academy Sports, whatever. You can find some pretty cheap and expensive ones, and they're very effective to build the muscle. I actually have dumbbells from five pounds all the way to 100. And like I mentioned before, if I had to get rid of everything in this gym and only keep one item, it'd be this dumbbell rack. There are different ways you can couple resistance bands with dumbbells, similar to what I showed you earlier with the bench press. If you use weights plus band tension, the gains are insane. Let me go over a few ways you can actually utilize both of these for one particular exercise and get great gains with them. Now we're gonna go over the most effective ways you can actually utilize dumbbells and resistance bands together. Number one is going to be actually combining the two of them. Let's say I want to work some chest, put the resistance band behind my back, grab me both the dumbbells that I'm going to be using in either hand and press. Not only am I working against the weight of the dumbbell in each of my hands, I'm also using this band tension of about another 10, 15 pounds, probably like 20 at the top to work that muscle. Some deadlifts using the dumbbell. So I would actually put the dumbbell beneath the resistance band between both of my legs, press down and pull up. I'm now using both the dumbbell as resistance as well as the tension of the resistance band very effective. I just doubled the amount of weight I had at my disposal. Instead of grabbing two dumbbells, I only was able to buy one and then I bought a couple resistance bands. And now I have a hundred pounds technically at the top. There's another way we can actually utilize both of these equipment items. Same concept. What we're gonna do is superset. So I'm going to do some squats, some nice goblet squats. So I'll do, let's say 10 of these, right? And then I will grab the resistance band and do some more superset uh, with the resistance band. Very effective once again, cheap but effective. Resistance bands don't cost as much as this iron over here. Now, lastly, instead of supersetting, we can actually do some drop setting. So with this dumbbell, again, it's back day, right? Some rows. Let's say I do 10 rows with the 50 pound. I even grab the 50 pound resistance band and we're gonna do the same concept. Some rows, grab my other resistance band. Cause they're so inexpensive, I decided to buy a bunch of them. And uh, same concept, get some good rows in. After I get about eight to 10 right there, I'ma drop once again a lighter resistance band and do some more rows. Now I want you to remember, there's never an excuse not to get to the games. Start out with some body weight exercises. There's so many body weight exercises on this channel and workouts that's easily put together for you. Follow along workouts that you just do exactly what pops up on the screen. Also, there's resistance bands at your disposal that you can begin to purchase and use in conjunction with your body weight exercises and continue to move up with maybe grabbing some dumbbells as well, a couple that you think you can work with and using them with the body weight as well as resistance bands and continue to progressive overload the muscle. You continue to break it down and you do the right things like get your hours of sleep, get your water intake in and also eat like you're supposed to and you'll continue to get stronger and bigger and probably faster as well. And that's that. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm trying to do so. Join the Bullyverse. We can become an even bigger Bullyverse. But first, we got to get to 2 million guys and we got to get there fast. Until next time, we we'll have to catch y'all later. <laughs>